Hey everybody, Trina here, back with another mixed media art demo. Today I'm going to be working on a watercolor of sunflowers on my hot press, press arch paper. I'm just going to wet the paper down a little bit here and then I'm going to go back in with a Caran d'Ache white to add in a bit of um, resist to the sunflowers just to make some lines and some shapes to add to the texture of the piece. I am a Kansas girl so painting sunflowers is one of my favorite things to do. Um, I'm using a photo from this one and painting somewhat what the photo looks like. So here I'm adding in some blues um, and some greens using my Cotman's um, watercolor travel palette. I like these little subtle eight colors because they do everything you need. And I'm going to add in a bit more of this Payne's Gray from the Line and Wash from Derwent. I love this color. I need to probably order just a tube of this color because I love it so much. And it also makes some really mixing that um, Payne's Gray with a yellow makes really cool green colors. So I'm adding in a bit of the yellow okra, going in with my paintbrush, adding in a bit of yellow to that Payne's Gray, and you're going to see this beautiful green that comes out of it. Um, right now I'm just working on the bottom part of this painting because I'm going to at some point add in um, a bit of saran wrap over top to create some texture. I'm adding in some yellow ochre and yellow to the sunflower leaves. I want this to be very loose and sketchy and whimsical. I'm not trying to copy the photo, more of just getting impressions of the photo. Um, this video is sped up at two times. I'm not painting this quickly. <sighs> Um, I paint pretty quick, but not that quickly. So I like what's going on here so far. It's very abstract and I love that. Um, to start. So we're going to be, continue to add in this sort of loose yellow color. And I'm going to add in a bit of this. What color is that? That looks like it's a uh, burnt sienna, I believe, is that color. Mixed with a little bit of Payne's Gray to make this cool brownish, greenish color for the centers of the sunflowers. I'm going to add in a bit more of that graphy tint green color because it's just a little bit more olive and a little bit more gray. And I haven't really figured out if it's good to, I'm assuming you can mix the graphite tints with other colors, but it seems to be working fine. I wouldn't know why they would put them all in a palette if you couldn't, you know, use them with other colors. So I'm adding in a bit more color, a bit more wash, because I want this to be pretty wet when I put the saran wrap over it. Bit more yellow green. I don't want to get too complicated in this because this is going to be the base coat. And here I'm going to add in the saran wrap. And you can see already that it's making some pretty cool marks. Um, trying to figure out a ways to make the lines. And I found that the skewer didn't really work that well. The pen didn't work that well, but re worked really well was just holding my finger in the middle and then pressing out to kind of mold it to where I wanted it to be. I'm going to add in a bit more water there. Um, you'll see on the next piece I put down, I sprayed the back of the saran wrap before I put it down. And that seemed to help just a little bit with the adhesion as far as getting it to stick where I wanted it to. So now I've got these two pieces here. I'm going to add a bit more paint and then we're going to let that dry. 
and you'll see what we get. So adding a little bit more orange and then we're going to put this back down and we're just going to let it dry. And we'll see what happens. So now we're gonna, we've let it dry and we're gonna pull up this and you can see the marks that it made in the piece. Really kind of interesting how that turned out, I think. Um, I really like it. Uh, preserving the whites a little bit and adding in just a bit more uh, chaos and crazy marks and energy and I like that. So now, we're gonna go back in with some blues and do uh, just a little bit indication of a sky. Not too much, just a little around the edges to give it just a bit more boost and a bit more contrast, a bit more sense of place. I'm mixing in the cerulean blue and the ultramarine. Bigger brush because we need a bit more of a wash here and sort of light and gray. Okay, now we're gonna move into adding in boulder marks. So these are the Mirabu Water Soluble Pastels. Um, I really like these colors. They're bold and bright. I'm trying something a little different than the normal Lyra that I work with. And I want to really make these stand out. And I want, so this is the, this is a Lyra that I'm working with here. Adding in a bit more energy into that sky and a bit more color. And you can see where the resist that I used before is happening. I'm gonna spread that out a little bit with some water just to make it a bit more wash. Just a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going in with this orange color. And I want to try to make the impressions of the sunflowers and give them more layers. That was also a Lyra, but now we're going to go back in with this lime green um, marabou. And I like these because they're thick. They're just a little juicier than the Lyra's, they're softer, um, they just make the best marks. And I really want this piece to have a different, we've got the light wash down and I really want to add in a bit more chunky marks. And here I'm adding in a bit of the Graffy Tint Green Water Soluble Pencil. Um, just to give the impression of those stems in the field. And I'm going to try, I don't want to do too much here because I want to keep all of those marks, a lot of those marks that I made. Going back in with a little burnt sienna, a little darker color from the marabou. And I don't want to ruin all of that loveliness I made. This is another graffiti tint that I'm using here that I've wet. And when you wet the graffiti tints down, they tend to uh, make a more fluid line. And so I'm just kind of outlining a bit of the sunflowers. Again, we're not trying to make perfect sunflowers. I'm just trying to give you the impression of these flowers in a field. And I like what we're doing here. I like this cool brown color make some really interesting marks. Scratch back in a little bit. Adding in some oranges and yellows. A little darker blue green here to give you just some bits of contrast. A brighter orange to go on here. And see, we're just building up layers and building up contrast, building up drama. Oh, that's really nice right there. Um, 
and still trying to keep that sketchy quality and not, like I said, lose all of the good work that we did with the wash before. I've never used the Saran Wrap on what with watercolor, but I really, really, really super like it. So I think I'm going to be using a little more. So we've got this little red orange that we're going to add in just a little bit more of. Really want that sunflower to pop out a little bit. And I'll leave a link above to uh, when I swatched the marabou crayon so you can take a look at that. I didn't do a lot of swatching, but I did swatch those, so I'll leave that up above. And here I'm just sort of trying to figure out what we need. I wanted a little blue in that sunflower because I thought it needed it just a little bit. And I want some little flecks of this green color to kind of move you through the piece a little bit so we're not stagnant and looking at just one spot. Maybe look, the colors will bring you through the painting just a little bit. Adding in a bit of water to tone those down just a tad. Um, I forgot about this little guy back here. He needs some attention. And I like how this came out. I'm very happy with the result. I think it feels very much like something I make. My intention with these, with using watercolor, is I wanted to make it my own. I don't want it to be uh, delicate and um, not the way that I paint, if that makes sense. Um, really trying to figure out how to incorporate it into my style of working. And I think using it as a layer is probably, with the crayons on top, is probably the way to, for me to go. I think that feels like it's that is more my style of work in the mixed media. Here I am going in with a bit of the skewer to kind of draw some lines back into that. Um, so yeah. I hope that you had a really awesome day and are having an amazing weekend. And I think that's it for now. And I will see you in the next video, probably next Saturday. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I forgot that part. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye.